All right, so I wanted to make this video real quick. It's gonna be real quick, okay? Hold on, let me put my glasses down. Cause it's on my heart to make this video. Cause, okay, so one thing I wanna say, a piece of advice that I want to give to people that are pursuing social media influencing, um, you know, maybe just starting your YouTube channel and all of that good stuff, right? be reminded of who you are okay because what's going to happen eventually right when i started my youtube channel i got nothing but positivity positive comments positive just positivity period right and what's going on now is i'm starting to get you know getting some hateful comments which is fine i expected that but one thing i want you to remember is who you are so when people try to attack you Remember, whatever it is that they're saying about you is not true. Like I've been called fat several times and that's absolutely okay. And even if I was fat, oh well, no one cares. Like, I don't know why people think that the first thing to hurt you is your appearance or your weight. Like that doesn't bother me, baby, because I'm confident in who I am. Be confident in who you are. Know who you are before you start this journey of social media because one thing, especially for my young girls out there that are just starting social media and starting their channels and everything, one thing I don't want y'all to do is let these comments like when the hateful comments come because i'm not trying to be negative but the hateful comments will come one thing i don't want you to do is be discouraged or start to really believe what those hateful comments are saying remember who you are remember what you stand for keep going brush it off do not let it bother you remain unbothered what a stranger thinks about you does not matter. That is their take on you. You're not for everybody. Remember that. Like, I am not for everybody. One thing about me, though, is I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to speak my truth. And I'm going to stand by my truth. No matter what. I'm not going to let someone influence me to think otherwise. Am I open to discussion? Absolutely. Am I open to having a conversation? Absolutely. I encourage that. I want that on my channel. I want to have mature conversation. Like in a video that I posted, it was like a few men, you know, trying to come for me, whatever. And then there was this one man, um, black gentleman, he commented and me and him had a thoughtful conversation. It was a nice conversation to have because clearly that man has maturity and the other men don't. And that's absolutely okay. Like not every, you're not for everybody. Not everyone has a mature mindset. A lot of people are immature. A lot of people are insecure and a lot of people project. So what that means is they feel like that about themselves, right? They feel bad about themselves. So what they're going to try to do is project that onto you and try to make you feel bad about yourself because they don't agree with what you're saying. Instead of them trying to add to the conversation and like, okay, let's have a conversation. Let, okay, let's see, why do you disagree with my points? Why do you feel like that? Like, let, let's open our minds. Let's have an open-minded conversation. Let's attack you. Like that is something that a lot of people go to because of why they're insecure. They don't love themselves. When people love who they are, when people love themselves, they project love to other people. Like I absolutely love myself, right? So when I get these hateful comments, I could retaliate and curse them out or whatever, but I'm too mature for that. I'm too grown for that. I've grown too much to even go there. I'm not going to stoop to someone else's level. And what people would do a lot of times is they'll keep throwing um, insults at you, keep hurling these hateful comments to you keep trying to come at you to try to break you down because at the end of the day they don't love themselves they're insecure and they're immature that is the bottom line and as the old saying goes misery loves company so like i said don't forget who you are stand for what you believe in do not let other people's hate infiltrate your heart brush it off like for me personally, I don't even delete comments. Like I leave them up because I want other viewers that come along on my page to see how some of these people talk. So when they see them in another comment section or they see someone with that um, YouTube icon try to pop up in their DMs, they're like, oh, nope, I'm not gonna mess with that dude because I, I already know how that man thinks. I'm not even gonna mess with that person. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I leave those comments up purposely, not because I'm trying to promote negativity on my page. Like I don't want negative comments, but I knew that they were going to come because that's just how a lot of people are. So keep commenting those hateful comments. Keep commenting those positive comments to the ones that are commenting on my channel. I absolutely love all of it. Any engagement on my channel helps my channel. It helps with my algorithm. So thank you so much for every single comment. I appreciate it. 
um, whether it's a positive comment, I love those especially, but if it's a negative comment, I welcome, them, welcome those too because at the end of the day, it helps my algorithm, it helps my channel grow, and like I said, it just lets you see how a lot of people are. So, don't want to make this a long video. I'm sitting in my living room right now. I gotta get some paintings and stuff hung up, but anyway. Thank you for watching this. Remember who you are. Do not let hateful comments. You know, um, there was this YouTuber I was watching. It's actually a black man's channel. Um, if you know who My Jazzy Life is, it's her, the father of her first four children. And he like deleted his um, YouTube channel because he said, you know, his YouTube channel was up for like three days, I wanna say. And he was just getting like so many hateful comments. He was just released out of prison. He was getting so many hateful comments to the point where he shut down his entire YouTube page. Like this man got over 3,000 subscribers in the first like three days of his channel being up. And he was getting thousands of views. Um, I believe at one point there were like 2,000 in his live chat. He was doing really, really, really well. Um, and he deleted his whole channel because he was just tired of the hateful comments. But don't even let it get to that point. Keep doing you. Keep speaking your truth because it's not going to resonate with everybody, but it's going to resonate with some. And those some are what matter, okay? Remember who you are. Don't let others' insecurities and projections infiltrate your heart because remember, people that love themselves are going to project love, okay? This is...